Hi, this is Carl Melius, and I'm going to go over some of the features of the Osmo Action Camera, and more importantly, some of the latest, newest features that you can get on this camera that makes it a clear game changer. Okay, so let me show you everything that comes with the Osmo Action Camera. So, obviously, it comes in a box like this. It's a big box. And in the box, I guess we get some sort of, I'm trying to open this up right now, get some mounts, got one mount there, got another mount here, it's very similar to the GoPro, very similar, if not the same, okay, we get the case that it comes in. It's the case. You get a battery holder. Okay, this is the battery holder over here. Battery holder. We get the battery. And last but not least, we get the Osmo Action Camera. Okay, let's start with actually setting up the, the Osmo Action Camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look around. Oh, what I did, by the way, is this piece right here was attached right here like this. I'm not going to attach it because it's annoying. What I did is, is I jiggled this off like this and I popped it out. Okay. So right here is the USB-C port where you can actually, if the battery is inside, you can charge it. Uh, right here is the micro SD card. So I have a scan disc extreme micro SD card. I'm going to put it in to the Osmo action right now. There we go. It snaps in there. That's in there. So next, what I want to do, this is the underneath. I want to take the Osmo Action battery right here to the Osmo Action camera. And first, I'm going to line them up. So I'm going to put it in like this. And then I'm going to snap both sides, it's this side and that side. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm going to go on the top. I'm going to show you this. Now, this is the start button for if you want to do photos or video. This is the power button. And right here is the mode button. So now I'm going to power it up. Press that. Light comes up on the top it turns green and now we can look at this screen wow it just took a shot so what i want to do is i'm going to swipe down and what i want to do immediately it's going to annoy us i'm going to go to the left one two places over here i'm going to turn off voice control because if voice control is on it's going to just be annoying, but it's a great function for the Osmo action camera. So let's go from left to right. This guy right here, I'm going to push this. This is configuration. Suppose I have it on different settings. This camera could do anything from 4K to 1080p. It can do slow-mo. Um, it could do high frame rates. It is excellent. It is an excellent camera. So I'm going to go back. Okay, I'm going to press this one right here. This is the brightness. So if I'm going to go up, see that? I'm just using the bar to get a bright. It brightens the screen or lowers the screen, the brightness. Okay. 
The next function is, it's a lock. So I'm gonna press that. Screen lock. You know, sometimes you wanna lock the screen so you don't mess things up. See, if I press it, I'm not gonna mess anything up. Now, in order to get out of the lock, I have to press it and see that lock up, I gotta move it up like that. Now, if I scroll down again, the next one, let's go over, let's press this one. Now this is the settings menu. This is really good. So I'm gonna go in the settings menu. Bear with me. And I'm gonna to go to voice control. It's off right now, okay? Voice language is English. I mean, I could change it. Oh, look at this one on the bottom, command list. Let's press that one. It shows you all the commands that you can say. You could do start recording. I'm gonna show you this in a second. Stop recording, take photo, screen switch, shut down. Let's matter of fact, let's go back. While we're on that, I'm gonna turn on voice control. So what I do, you see that white dot? I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna press that and it's now a bluish white dot now. And now I'm gonna say, let's start, switch screen. So what it did is I'm going to turn the front. This is another amazing feature of the Osmo Action Camera. It has a front screen. Let that That's a game changer for me. It has a front screen. And I'm going to tell you why this is, oh, it just took a picture. And I'm going to tell you why this is by far the best mini camera or action camera for vlogging. It just took another picture. So if I say take picture, Take picture, start recording. So it's recording. <laughs> start recording. If I say stop recording, stop recording. Switch screen. See, it went from the front to the back. This is awesome. I mean, you could totally be independent and tell this action camera what to do. So now let me turn this off because I don't want it to bother me. So those were some of the functions that I wanted you to see it do. So now let's go from settings to auto. Now. Auto is just gonna, you see this auto and then you see like a screen that's moving. Well, basically it does this, it auto adjusts. So if I press it, it's up, I press it, it's down. So now it auto adjusts where all the icons flip over. So now I gotta adjust it back to normal, to auto, now it flips, okay? So let's skip over here. So basically what this does right here is the full front screen on. So basically what it would be, if you would have this whole front screen filled up in the front, okay, you wouldn't see the line, the bars, like you do on a TV, the black bars, you would have it full, okay? So if I switch it again, full front screen off, you would just, you would have the black bars now. Um, I can illustrate this by if I, If I turn this on and I go switch screen, now look at this. I'm not going to do anything. See that? See that with the bars up top and up bottom? Switch screen. Switch screen. I'm gonna press it, see that? It says full front on. All right, so let's turn it over. Switch screen. See that? No black lines. So you get that? So when you, when you go over here, switch screen, switch screen. So if I scroll down and I press that where it says 
full front screen, you're going to see the full one. And if you press full front screen off, you're going to see the bars. Okay. If I go from the bottom to the top, that clears everything. I'm out of the settings menu. And if I scroll from the left to the right, this is my play menu. So what I have, what I recorded, um, I could just play. So let's press the triangle. If I say stop recording, stop recording. See that? I could delete that. Do I want to delete it? Yes. Okay, so there's another one. Let's play that. See, that's my playlist. And that's it. I can love it. I don't want to get too deep, but that's what that does. I want to swipe this way again. And that's, I want to swipe this way. And it's just showing me different recordings I did again. Let's go from right to left and look. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is, you get your ISO. Basically, ISO is your lighting. How much light you want to let in. You like when you let a small amount in from 100, or you get bigger from 200 to 400 to 500. I have it on auto. I don't want to mess with it. I can press, there's an M there. I can press manual. And then I could just scroll. I could just scroll up here and see how much light I want to let in. Uh, but I don't really want to do it. I'm just going to put that back to auto. Now I'm going to press the camera. There's a camera down here. And AWE, which is my white balance. What I want to do, auto white balance. And then I could do my color pressing the color. Do I want normal or cine like? I choose cine like only because um, you can switch to normal or you can switch to de cine like. I switch to de cine like only because in my post I can make the proper color correction. It does it like in a dull format. All the colors are somewhat dull and you can just correct them in Final Cut or Adobe Premiere or whatever. Again, I'm giving you a basic breakdown of this unit. Okay, another key feature I want to show you is if I go from bottom to top, look at this. This is my resolution settings. So on the top, I got a 4K. That's where I'm going to keep it. But I can scroll. I can go 4K, 4x3. I can go to 2K, 4x3. I can go to 2K which is probably 16 by nine. I could do 1080p, I can do 720p. So I'm gonna switch that back to 4K and look at the frame weights. I can go 30 frames, I can go down if I wanted to, to 24 for cine, but I can go up to 60 frames for slow motion. And they have something which is huge. Another huge thing, this rock steady right here. I'm gonna do a test, I'm gonna be going outside and I'm gonna be running with it. It's basically the Osmo Actions uh, stabilization uh, platform. It works awesome. And I will demonstrate that. Hey, I wanted to go over some of the features of the Rocksteady. I'm doing a comparison with Rocksteady and without Rocksteady. Now you can see I'm running. I'm just testing this. I'm running. I'm testing the Rocksteady. I'm running right now, testing the rock steady. Okay. Now I'm testing this without the rock steady. Now I'm testing this without the rock steady. Oh, another thing I want to show you is the modes. So here's a button right here. It's not the power button, it's the mode. So if I turn back and I have my hand on here like this, and I go to modes, I'm pressing it. Quick switch. It goes to video, slow motion, time lapse.
See that? It switches the different options. So, so I'm going to switch back the video. It should switch it right now. So that's another thing. Now, if I press this, this button here, the red button on top, now it's recording in video because it's in video mode. Now, if I want to stop it, I just go, I press it again. And believe it or not, see this, this is unique right here. Right here, this is very unique. Um, you can, this is for lens filters. So if I want to screw this off like this, I could take this off. And if it's, if I need, if I have a sunny day, um, I can put on a different lens filter. So I just thought I'd show you that. So I put it back on. It's really cool. They, they have all sorts of lens kits, which I will show you in the links below. But another big feature of this Osmo action camera is that there've been a couple of big improvements over the last year. Um, they have a device now, an adapter, which enables you to connect an external, external mic. And they have an awesome case that allows you to do this. I want to show you that next. Now, the case that comes with the Osmo Action, it's oh, it's an okay case. I mean, it's all right. I mean, you got your um, you got your power button right there. I mean, you got your mode button. And you got your trigger button that records video, starts video recording, takes a photo shot, et cetera, et cetera. But you notice it doesn't have any um, mounts or anything like that. And it doesn't have something that um, you can put an audio adapter in. So we have something else that comes in the picture here. I'm going to put this down. This is by... PGY Tech, and this is an awesome case for the Osmo Action. So look at this, first of all. It's got a mount here. It's got another mount here. So it's really cool. So what I'm going to do, and it's got space to put an audio adapter. So this case will let you put an external mic audio adapter in it without any obstructions. I'll get to that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Osmo action and I'm going to slide, take the case. Here we go. I'm going to take this case I'm going to put the Osmo action in the case. See that I just slid it in. So I'm going to turn around. Gonna slide it in. I think it's in now. I think it looks good now. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna get this right here. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna slide it in like that. I'm gonna snap it in. So let's look at it. See. See your trigger buttons here. You have your power button. And then over here, you have your mode button. And look, access for your SD card and you can charge through your USB-C right there. All accessible. But the biggest thing I want to show you is this. Okay, I'm going to put this down. And here's another, this is an audio adapter. Now I'm going to have the link 
uh, where you can buy this. This is an audio adapter. I forget the name actually, but this audio adapter is, it was only a few bucks. It wasn't anything expensive. I think it was like 30 bucks. Even, even less than that. I'm sorry. Even less than that. So what it has here is this will connect to the Osmo action camera, this USB-C port, but then you can charge. You can still charge the battery or the camera in this right here. There's another one right here. So if I look over here, I get this camera. I just take it. Oh, and it's got a, see that Jack? So the big thing about this is it comes with a USB-C, which will plug into the Osmo action camera. It has another one where you can still plug into it so it can charge the battery. And it has a three and a half jack for your external microphone. This is another game changer. I don't know why people are going GoPro. I mean, I, after this came out, I mean, it's a no-brainer because of this front screen, okay? The simplicity of the menu in the back and this new adapter. I mean, it's, it's hands down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to line it up. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to press down and now look at it. See, it's right here, right here, and it's pretty secure, pretty secure you like that. And I have something else. This is the Rode uh, video mic, me, M-E, I believe. And I think this retails. I think I got this for 50 or 60 bucks. Again, I'll, I'll have links to everything in the video down below. But this is a beauty because now I can mount this. Check this out. I could take this right here and I could take it. On the top, there's a mount. There's a mounting bracket here. I could take this, mount it. Now look at it. Now it's mounted. Secure, excellent, very secure. Then I could take this and see the hole. Where's the hole? Let's go check it around. It's right there. See that? And I could take it and plug it in. Now look, now you tell me right now. Look what I just did. I have the Osmo Action camera. <laughs> I have an audio adapter, which enables me to not only charge the battery if I need to, but it adds an external mic. And I have a front screen. So you tell me, and, and look at the cost. The camera when I bought it was on sale for $300. Okay. This mic was another 50 or $60. So for 360, let's just say, oh, plus this adapter, I believe was maybe $30. So maybe 400 bucks. I'm getting all this. The GoPro 8 costs 400 by itself. Then you got to buy another um, add-on. They have a screen that you can add on. They have a light and they have some audio, professional audio mics you can add on. But it's it's way too much. Like each of one of those things is 80 bucks. Okay, I'm testing, I'm testing the internal microphone of the Osmo Action right now. I'm doing a test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, I'm testing the internal microphone for the Osmo Action. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to do a test um, using the external Rode video mic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
Again, now I'm going to do the test using the Rode external video mic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm walking around, as you can see, some of the some of the neighborhood here. I just want to see how well this camera shoots. It's pretty. It's very good, actually. It's very good. If you like this video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.